All right, everyone, what's going on? It's the Lemon King here, and welcome back for another video. And today we're going to be playing 3 out of 10, episode number one. So this game recently became available on Epic Games Store for free. So I figured, why not? There's episode one. There's already three episodes out right when I'm recording this right now. So what's wrong with giving it a shot? And I know it's been a while since I've been playing before, as you can see. Whole new background, whole new office setup, getting into the apartment, getting ready, getting into work. So we're here now. I got a setup going right here that I kind of like. A new monitor in place, got some new things around to play with. So hopefully this all goes well, and we'll see how this video turns out. But hopefully it's a good one, and hopefully we can continue expanding and making this the best gaming setup ever. But for now, we came here to watch a game. A game called 3 out of 10, so let's play it. So I did tune the audio a little bit. I might have to do that again, but it should be fine. And also I rose the game up a little bit just to make sure everybody can see. What was that loading screen down there? We here at Terrible Posture Games are very excited to introduce you to the ridiculous world of 3 out of 10. While 3 out of 10 is absurd by design, this premiere episode contains depictions of protesting, which some viewers may find upsetting given the highly important conversations happening in our society today. Your discretion is advised. Well, there you go. Welcome to Shovelworks. Daytime on the beach. Look at them, enjoying their novelties and their relative safety. Yeah, sure. I could be one of them. This looks high quality I could enjoy already. Relative safety too, but I'm not. I'm me. They say nothing is more dangerous than a tiger shark. They call them the people killers, leg eaters, the terror of the open water. I call them surfing buddies. Yeah! Surfing buddies. <laughs> oh, what the heck? What? Ow. So this is like cartoony. Oh, that was a beach. I don't know. I thought it was a cool announcement trailer. Yeah, it was something all right. But that wasn't a tiger shark. That was a great white. Yeah, I changed it to a tiger shark in the script. Everyone uses great whites. We need to stand out. Well, I'm not changing my art. You fix your script, Kevin. Tiger sharks aren't even as dangerous as great whites. Oh, you can train them to run contraband, though. Wait, really, Joan? And look, it's still a shark. That's the important thing. All right, circle up, everyone. As you all know, we announced Surfing with Sharks today. Reception has been wonderful. The internet loves it. That's totally not true, but it's good for morale to tell you that. Now, I know it's been a rough few weeks for you all. We faced hard deadlines, crashing builds, technical downtime. And Javier exploded, too. Don't forget about Javier. His desk has been covered in blood all week. Look, what happened to Javier? I'm sure he's fine. Also, this meeting isn't about Javier. That's actually what I wanted to talk to you all about. Javier. Huh? Yeah, a week is a long time without an animator, so... I'm happy to introduce to you all Midge, our new animator. So, Javier's not coming back. Explosions will do that. That bastard still owes me ten bucks. Okay, look, everyone, it's company policy not to talk about Javier anymore. Midge is the new Javier. Everyone say hello. Hi, Midge. Hi, uh, I thought this was for an interview. This is Shovelworks Studios, right? Midge here comes highly recommended. Anything Javier could do, <laughs> I'm sure she could handle. Just make her feel welcomed. Any questions? Yeah, what do we do about all the people outside? People? What people? I don't know. A crowd of people just showed up a few minutes ago. God damn it, why does this always happen to us? Well, don't make eye contact and maybe they'll go away. I don't know. That's, Kevin, that's the way they always go away. Make sure Mitch is all set up. Back to work, everyone. Well, I guess it's been a few months. I wonder what they want this time. Last time, it was because our game didn't have a sewer level. Uh, yeah, I'm not changing my mind on that one. Not every game needs a sewer level. <sighs> guess what do you I'll mean? See how good the noise Where all the fun stuff happens. All right. Action packed well, sewer. Midge, uh, I'm not sure what Jeff wants Ninja me Turtles. to do with you. I'm not even on the art team. 
just so you know, I wasn't kidding. I was told by the recruiter that this was literally supposed to be an interview. Well, we work quick. Some might say rush. Pylon, any ideas on how to handle the fans outside? Uh, bribery? Mm, can't afford that. They sure don't look like fans out there. <laughs> I mean, they wouldn't keep coming by every few months if they weren't passionate about our games. Look, Midge, why don't you, uh, go meet your coworkers while Pylon and I brainstorm? You'll probably be working a lot with Viper, so be sure to say hello to him. Oh, uh, all right. All right, so I am Midge. An interesting, like, camera pan here. The talk to Viper and optional meet and greet six, play the test build, and check out the old console. My name's Pylon. Did you know that the latest build is always hooked up to the TV? You can try it out any time. Come back once you've said hello to a few people. Oh, you're not gonna introduce yourself? What's wrong? I feel like I shouldn't go into the boss's room. Staircase. Oh, the boss's room? The boss going on here? What you got going on, man? Look, I can't promise I'll remember your name, but that's okay. I've got a lot of thinking going on up here about boss things. Why don't you go say hi to some of your teammates? What, what if I look in your I drawer? I probably shouldn't rummage around through these. Ah. At least not on my first day. That means come back later. Got it. What's going on? Right, there's a robot. Hi there. Are you one of the developers here? No, I'm Timothy 3000, automated office assistant. I'm here to help you with all your needs. Okay. Come on over here. Big design ideas. An end? Huh. I do need an end. Get rid of angry fans, give away Steam Keys t-shirts. This must be that Bribery. green guy's desk. Seems to really like pale yellow green. Yeah, there's a lot of that going on. What's with all those bottles up there? You're telling me that there was no death, it was just ketchup, right? I can play the demo. Again. Oh, I'm killing it. This game doesn't stand a chance. Okay, I lost 50. That's fine. I'm still alive. I'm not gonna die. Made it. Here's the end. Best score, five stars. Game's like perfect. I don't see any problems. Don't need to change anything. Can't see where I'm going though. That's always a good sign. Okay, I'm going over here. What's going on over here with you? Hi, I'm Joan. I've been working in the industry since the 90s, but I've only been here a few years. I'm Midge. I've apparently been working here for 10 minutes. I really thought it would be harder to get this job. Oh dear, no. You haven't read much about our studio, have you? Not really, no. Well, you'll learn. We have a bit of a reputation. Oh, okay. A good reputation of that, yeah. England. Welcome to the Dice Bag, bringing you film, game, and culture news non-stop, at least until the station break. Hey, you hear that Shovelworks Studios is making another game? Oh god, not again. Is this another turn-style jumper game? No, I don't think so. No one wants your crappy turn-style jumper game, Shovelworks. I never got to try it. Was it really that bad? Are you kidding me? It no, was come the on, worst, play it. literally the worst game ever made. No, I take that. Okay. This guy didn't really explode. Did he? Can that actually happen? There was a ketchup disaster that happened here. Hot sauce, yeah. That's normal. Nothing really bad happens. I'm Viper. You can call me Viper. I'm the best there is at what I do, and I don't suffer incompetent fools. Are you incompetent? Hi, Viper. I'm Midge, and no, I don't think so. I'll be the judge of that. Look, if you're gonna fill in Javier's shoes in animating my masterpieces, then you need to prove to me you know what you're doing, okay? 
A good pose is crucial to properly showing off my work. I have a lot of action figures, mostly from my favorite game, Sweaty Blood. Show me you know how to make badass poses by posing them. Very good enough. Pose the action figure. A and D, like body part, face next pose, shift previous pose. This is bloody Chuck. Look at all that detail. That's how you know it's a good design, okay? Bloody Chuck is the sturdy hero of the game. He keeps his pouches shut with Phillips head screws. Huh, sweet. Everything's looking pretty good right here, isn't it? Now oh, this this needs to go for it. He yeah. keeps books okay. in all those pouches. He's a scholar warrior. That's important in season four. Hey, anatomy isn't important in character art. Looking cool is important. Look at me. Well, I guess you'll improve. Not many animators yeah. can keep up with me, so I shouldn't have been surprised. Modest. Modest at best, three stars. Talk to Kevin, too. Baron Von Braubud. You know, Braubud. Bloody Chuck from Sweaty Blood has a lot of enemies, but Baron Von Braubud is his arch nemesis. Okay. That's quite a crowd. I wonder if this happens often to them. You're not, I'm Kevin. Mitch. Welcome to the studio. First, don't listen to anything Kevin tells you. He's a lying, heartless bastard. Okay. Second... We don't have the budget for a new computer, so you'll have to use Javier Station. I guess that makes sense. It's still covered in blood, but you can worry about that later. Oh, all right. Fantasy novel, the continuing continuation of the best-selling saga of betrayal and animal kinship. Hey. Yeah, we keep our foam dart guns in there. Oh, dark guns. Okay. Hi, I'm Ben. Uh, look, no offense. Uh, Midge, was it? I'm trying to get some stuff done. Okay, hi to you too, then. Huh? This looks like the audio room. They may be recording in there. Kevin There's the a note here. Warning: Sally is feisty today. Huh? I wonder which one Sally is. Hey, cool. Old you see graphing gaming device. Been years since I saw one of these. Graphing gaming device. Okay, yeah, we'll play this again. That's all you'll have to do is press space in here. I got my star though, that's all that matters. It's all that matters. I didn't come here to, well, I guess I did come here to play games within games, but you know, it's fine. Here are the backs. Making game news going on. Yeah. Whoa, this thing needs to be cleaned. This doesn't seem like the place where cleaning happens. I can sprint too. Well, sort of. Hi there, I'm back. So, can we 
talk about the last animator. Oh, have you? Uh, right. So, should I be worried about what happened to him? Oh, no. Spontaneous combustion just happens sometimes. Animators just do that, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's Every the Can I have his chair? What? No. That's going to be Midge's chair. I don't think people just explode. There's no time for dwelling on the past. We need to think of a way to deal with those people outside. Why should she get the good chair? I've been here much longer. Can't you just go talk to them? <laughs> Talking never solves anything. Oh, maybe we can camouflage the studio. Or hire a velociraptor. Look, I'm True. just Boss gonna go problem. ask them what they want. Wow, this is a big crowd. Where did you all come from? Oh, a developer. This is the New England chapter of the Global Internet Fandom Coalition. This is what we do. We're a mobile fan club. Really? Shovelworks Studios has their own fan club. Of course not. We're a generic group. We go where we're needed. Today was slow, and Linda loves sharks. It's true! So you're fans of... sharks? Yes, absolutely. At least today. Did you really think you could pass off a great white as a tiger shark? Great whites have pointy heads! I mean, seriously, has the game industry lost all reason? Hey, everyone! What do we want? Yes! Fix the shark! Oh, wanna buy a t-shirt? It's 100% cotton. Um, no, not really. <laughs> Your loss. Look, you think you can get away with everything. Well, you got a choice. Either fix that shark, or cancel the game. <laughs> cancel the game? We can't do that. It's just starting to come together. Maybe you could just fix the shark. No, it must be a tiger shark. Tigers are cool. Yeah, canceling things would totally compromise our vision. Pylon, hey! What? They're right. It's a great white, not a tiger shark. And it's a cool shirt. Okay, so tell me about this game. Ah, you're intrigued. Excellent. You know your Endless Runner games, right? Those mobile titles where you always race to the right and tap to jump over things and, and try and last as long as you can? Yeah, so it's like that. It's an Endless Runner, but the twist is... Wait for it. There's an end. That's it? Oh. You're making an endless runner with an end? I call it an oh, end full runner. I've never seen that one before. Or maybe just endy runner? What games well, have ends? Well, whatever. The community is ultimately who decides a new subgenre's name. Can't be an endless we runner We just have to make the end. game no one but... realized they wanted. I love making games no one wants. So, yeah, I'm not so sure I'm the best fit for this place. It seems a bit intense. Oh, you'll get used to it. Everyone here is great. With the exception of Viper. And all of the engineers. And the boss. And the tiger shark. And the occasional spontaneous combustion of animators. But otherwise, it's great. Also, look, we need you, Midge. This game, this is gonna be a hit. But only if we have a good animator. That's why Javier was yeah. so important. What's in oh, the fridge? It. Free soda. Guys, like they're soda. getting restless out there. I don't think they're gonna leave on their own this time. Right. How do you calm down a crowd of fans? Well, everyone gets angry when they're hungry. Could we try feeding them? There's granola in the kitchenette, but that's not gonna go very far. I have a lot of ketchup. We can make ketchup granola stew. Seriously? That's revolting. Not if you add salsa. Salsa will give it body. Okay, okay. Granola, ketchup, and salsa. Does anyone know how to cook? Oh, I do. Does anyone except for Pylon know how to cook? I can do it, team. I can do it. Okay, look. Why don't both of you handle this? Wait. Uh, oh, okay. This is going to be a disaster. Stack ingredients to build recipes. Move completed recipes to Pylon. Optional. Speed things up. So you can move with A and D. Toggle the stack slash with space and hold S to speed up. salt but don't forget to let the salt caramelize Ooh, do something with this are things normally like this around here oh no nah. some days get really weird
assault. Those. Uh, no, no, this is just a disaster now. Soda. Ooh, do something with this. When in doubt, add salt. When in doubt, add salt. I agree that is the best answer to this. Need a soda. The disaster. Okay, stop the show, Pylon. What's with the tentacle? Oh, that's just Sally. She's harmless. Yeah! Use this salsa. Salt. Take this. Yeah. What the hell is that tentacle? What the hell is that tentacle? Salt. I need a jar of something. I need an app or pepper, I guess. There. Excellent. If I do say so myself. That <laughs> works, Suey Chef. That was a disaster, but it, but it was five said, stars. If anyone goes hungry here at Shovel, we present spicy granola stew. <laughs> ah. Uh. Oh, how does it taste? Yeah, I'm not I don't tasting that. Out. Ew, me neither. I think it's pretty good. And we could serve Ridgy potato chips on the side. That's a good idea. Everyone loves Ridgy potato chips. Okay, time to serve up some guests. Let's do this. Uh, we're gonna get sued for food poisoning next. Come on, it wasn't that bad. Okay, that that was a terrible idea. Let me at him. I'll chase him off. Or you could change the shark. It's the shark. It's the shark. It's the shark. Oh no. What's going on? Code red. Meters down to two out of ten. What happened? Uh, two out of One ten. Hey, 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 we're in the news. Terrible game studio tries to poison upset fans. That's not true at all. Yeah, they're not our fans. It's the shark. It's the shark. It's the shark. If we fix the shark, will you stop being mad? We'll always be mad. What? Why? Your game isn't as good as Witcher 3. Huh? Pylon, we're well, out of options. You don't need what I think you need, right? We have no choice. We need to ask the engineers for help. Mitch, quick! Go to the supply closet and get an intern! A what? An intern! We keep them in the supply closet. The supply Francine closet. has the key. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Can you tell Kevin to keep it down already? Uh, sure. Can you unlock the supply closet? I need to get something. Sure. Knock yourself out. It intern. Not even normal. Just in turn. Locked in the cage with food. To goal destination. Make as few moves as possible. See and select piece. Hmm. Not time though, is it? No, apparently not. We don't have to worry about that. That. Stay. This has to. Oh boy, how do we get all? How do we get this out? This is a double piece up here too, isn't it? That's a. That's an L. What the hell? I hope they feed you, intern. I 
Gotta move quick. They're waiting for me. I'm really, really excited to be here. I lost I lost a star already. Who star? Ah, uh, it, it's just. I can't wait to tell folks about my time as an intern. That was terrible. The intern. Oh, Good the work, intern back. Oh, hello, mentors. Uh, hi there, intern. I'm Midge. Why do we need them again? To convince the lead engineer to help us. The programming department only communicates by handwritten requests delivered via dumbwaiter with an offering. Do I get to work on the game now? Uh, sure. Look, Midge, we need to get them to the dumbwaiter. Right. Dumbwaiter. Okay, a dumbwaiter. You really think the lead engineer can Is talk some sense here? into the crowd? Oh, no, no, no. That's not you know, safe. Restaurant or something? No one is allowed to talk to the engineers here. They've got barrel! But the lead engineer has other means to solve our problems. You'll see. Or you could just change the shark. What? Be reasonable, Midge. Mayday, Mayday, we got company! That's the last time you poison anyone with your food or your game. If you won't fix the shark, we will. Oh no. Get intern to dumb waiter room. Keep intern safe. Hit enemy to stun. Space to throw and WSD to we move. We need to keep the intern away from the crowd. Toss him to me if they get close. Or me. To me! There's so many of them! Quick! Over here! They're closing uh -oh. in! Uh -oh. Throw the crate! Get all the stars too, though. What the hell? Fix your game, and this will all be over, Ooh. developers. Oh no! I wasn't expecting a boss fight. Ow! Ooh. Enraged, that makes him immune to pain. Okay, looks like he's vulnerable. Throw the crate at him. Keep away from him till he calms down. To trade fire now. Ow. Ow. There's two of them. They didn't even count. What the hell? Ow! Stop that! I lost the intern. There are too many of them. 
Viper? All right, you Viper dreams. got it. You're embarrassing Bye. me. Go, get the payload to the target. I'll show you how you deal with the crowd. They're all yours, Viper. Go! Quick, to the dumbwaiter. Time for you to earn that paycheck you don't get, intern. Wait, he's the offering? We've done this before, Midge. Send him down, Pylon. The door! It's not gonna hold! What do we do? Hold on. Give them time. The lead engineer will do something. Just wait. It's the lead engineer. Come on, do something. <laughs> One more! Holy crap. Someone leaked costume photos for the Racer Chase movie adaptation. They got rid of Chase's unibrow! They can't do that. That's Chase's defining trait. How dare they? Who do they think they are? All chapters mobilized. This is a code Foxtrot. Condition Omega. Pack it up, folks. Let's That's... go. Racer Chase needs us. We will avenge this travesty. Don't they know how important unibrows are? So just by doing that, it helps our rating. <sighs> See? Okay. The, the lead engineer always finds a way. Hey, hey! Someone leaked news about the new Racer Chase movie. Ah, the old distraction trick. Clever. The lead engineer did that? The lead engineer works in mysterious ways. Oh my god! What happened to him? Quick, call for help! It's fine. They just have a lot of bones down there. How is that fine? How is any of this fine? We send one whenever we need something from the engineers. Schools just keep sending them to us. We're low right now, but we'll get another shipment eventually. Come buy a poker night. We use them as chips. Look, I could see past the thing with the animator and your fan club and the thing growing in the kitchen, and even the fact that this is apparently the worst game studio in existence. But this is too much. This is where I check out. I'm out of here. Midge, wait! Wait a sec! What? See that counter up there? Yeah, what about it? That's tied to an algorithm that takes into account focus testing, mock reviews, A-B results, and a hundred other factors in order to create a predictor of our expected score. It's just three out of ten. That's terrible. It is. We've never had any of our games score above three out of ten. But not anymore. Not with this project. This project is different. I thought review scores didn't matter anymore. They matter to the people I went to high school with. I will show them. This game will be a hit. Childhood revenge. Ugh. But it needs a good animator to tie it all together, Midge. Well, you'll have to find someone else. Midge, j just wait. So, just saying, this is all the tiger shark's fault. Wait, really? Well, why don't we just change the shark? Um... Oh, God. Really? Look, I can't do this. These people are terrifying. There's something growing in the refrigerator, and there is some sort of ritual involving interns, and who knows what's going on with their basement. You know that's not what we want to hear, Miss Potter. You had a role, and we had an agreement. Yeah, well, that agreement didn't mention half the crap going on in there. Your job was a simple one. The director will be disappointed, but not surprised. What does that mean? We've been assembling a file on you, Miss Potter. Your interests go far beyond animation. Some of those extracurricular activities you partake in, those come with long prison sentences. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure. Our file is quite interesting. Photos, videos, documents. Your local police department would find it fascinating. Is this blackmail? This is a friendly warning. You know what we're capable of. This is bigger than you and me, Miss Potter. Go join them. Gain their trust. Work with them. But remember, they must never make a good game. They don't need me for that. I don't think you understand. This is the most important job you've ever had. If they make a good game, it will be the end of everything. Oh, God. They can't have one good game. What is that? Yeah, yeah, hug. All right, well, nice person, number six. All right, well, that was episode one, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you back here with episode two very shortly.